Hey there, uh, this is Hayek Eslo from Drone DJ. Um, thanks for joining us. My apologies for the poor lighting conditions uh, today. I'm here in a hotel room at the Hilton Anatole in Dallas, Texas, and I have very limited equipment, so we'll have to make do with uh, these lights here. Uh, hopefully it's bright enough that you can still uh, see this clearly. Um, I wanted to make a short video today about DJI's Airworks event 2018. For those of you who don't know, DJI Airworks is aimed at the commercial and enterprise customers. And it's a big event, typically they announce new products and the official starting date for the event is tomorrow on Tuesday. However, today there's a special media and press event as well for a product that they're gonna release. And of course, by now everybody knows, this is the uh, DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Edition. Uh, over the summer, we've already been able to share leaked images with you. There's been an FCC filing recently that uh, confirmed the arrival of this drone. And today, uh, in about an hour from now, we'll be uh, going to a DJI presentation to learn more about this drone, as well as a special product demonstration. So there's gonna be more articles and more videos coming out soon. However, I uh, have the specs right in front of me here, and I wanted to, uh, to share them with you in a short video clip. Now, the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Edition is based on the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom version. So uh, I'm reading the specs here. It has the same 12 megapixels camera with a uh, two times optical zoom range as well as a three times digital zoom range. The flight time remains unchanged, 31 minutes, and it has the same top speed of 45 miles per hour. Now compared with the consumer version of the Mavic 2, the Enterprise Edition comes with 24 gigabytes of onboard storage, which is uh, quite a bit more. Uh, and not only that, the data now is password protected. So DJI wanted to make sure they call it an enhanced uh, protection feature that whatever images or video footage you have on the drone cannot be accessed by a third party in case you lose your drone or the drone is compromised, let's say in uh, adverse weather conditions. Um, DJI also added the DJI local data mode, which means that if you don't wanna share any of the information over the internet, you can activate this option and that will make sure that the information stays on the drone and your phone and controller, but will not be uploaded and sent online. Uh, so you don't have to be afraid of your data ending up on some server somewhere else. Um, the Mavic 2 Enterprise also has a timestamp feature that will make sure that every image and video footage that you take with the drone is gonna get a date, time, and location stamp, which makes it much easier for a review later on and also for merging images from different drones or different locations, like what they've done at the wildfires uh, in California recently, where they create those big maps with 360 degree images uh, of the different neighborhoods that were burned down. Now, another feature that DJI added to the Mavic 2 Enterprise Edition is a safety feature that allows the drone to pick up um, ADS-B signals from nearby manned aircraft. So let's say if you're flying in a congested area or you're dealing with a wildfire situation where you still have planes trying to put out the fire, uh, you'll be able to know where those other planes are and the drone is gonna notify you of any nearby manned aircraft. Uh, so this is an important safety feature that uh, they may that they now make available for enterprise and commercial drone operators. Now let's talk a little bit about those leaked images that we saw over the summer. Uh, remember that we saw the image where the loudspeaker was uh, mounted on top of the drone as well as another one that showed a beacon. Uh, it turns out that those images were legit. Uh, the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise will ship with three different accessories. It has a dual spotlight uh, with 2400 lumens so it's very bright and it's going to help to uh, either be able to locate people in the dark or it's gonna help with inspections. Uh, furthermore, it has the loudspeaker, which is, uh, seems kind of bulky, but I guess the, uh, the drone is able to fly with that. Uh, this loudspeaker is able to generate 100 decibels of, uh, of sound measured at one meter distance, so which is about uh, three feet. Now, the loudspeaker is kind of interesting. Uh, it doesn't seem to be an open connection where you can freely talk to the people who are nearby your drone. Uh, what it does do is it allows you to play 10 pre-recorded custom voice messages. So you have to come up with these messages beforehand, record them, save them on the drone, and then I guess with a, uh, a press of the button, you'll be able to, uh, to, to use those messages to direct the people you're trying to rescue uh, to wherever they need to be. Now lastly, we have the beacon. This is a um, LED strobe, a flashing LED strobe that you mount on top of the drone, just like the flashlights and the loudspeaker. Um, and it allows you to see the drone up to a distance of three miles away. 
So not only does this help you as a drone operator to follow the drone and to be able to tell where it is, uh, it also increases the awareness of other people either in the sky or on the ground to know that there's a drone up there and roughly know where this drone is. This beacon of course is, uh, is meant to be used either in adverse weather conditions or during nighttime drone operations. Now then we come to the pricing and availability of this drone. The DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise Universal Edition, as it's officially called, um, will be ready for sale starting today through authorized DJI resellers. Uh, it doesn't mention whether you can actually buy this online, but through resellers you'll be able to get your hands on one. It's priced at $1,999, and this includes, of course, the drone, the remote controller, one battery, and all three mountable accessories, as well as a protector case um, with flight tools. Now, there will also be a Fly More kit. Um, the Fly More kit includes two batteries, one battery charger, a car charger, one USB connector, a soft case, and two additional propellers. Uh, this is available for 419 US dollars. Well, that kind of brings us to the end of this video. Um, I wanna wrap this up with a, a couple of questions I have based on the information from their uh, press release. Uh, my first question really is, uh, I was expecting a thermal camera to be one of the uh, accessories or, or mounts that you could put on top of this drone. Uh, as of yet, that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, I did ask DJI whether, a, um, whether they would open up the, uh, the Mavic 2 Enterprise for third-party developers. Uh, think, for instance, of uh, FLIR systems. I'm sure they would, uh, would love to develop a thermal camera that you can use with this drone. Um, for now, that isn't the case. DJI gave us an official answer. It says, for now, the accessory port isn't open to third-party developers using our payload SDK. As you can imagine, there are flight dynamic issues uh, when we attach accessories to an airframe this small. So we need to be able to ensure they don't affect flight performance, but in the future, perhaps, with an exclamation mark. Um, I think they probably will open it up. Uh, it seems to be a trend within DJI to open up their products for third-party developers anyway. And it, in, in my mind, it would make uh, all the sense in the world uh, for DJI to do the same in this case. So maybe we'll find out uh, during the event this week. Uh, otherwise, we'll keep an eye on this for sure. Um, and then lastly, in one of the tweets from DJI Enterprise, they showed us a, uh, a setup with three lenses or, or three lights. It seemed to be three lenses uh, that, that led to speculation of a 360 degree camera possibly uh, to be mounted on top of this drone. Um, the funny thing is that that same image is nowhere to be found in the official press images from DJI. So I don't know if that's a mock-up in Photoshop where they just show the uh, DJI Mavic zoom lens from three different angles angles or whether this is in fact a new product. Uh, another question that we'll try to get answered during this week. Um, that's it for this short video. Um, we will be here until Thursday, so there's probably going to be a lot more. I expect that DJI will have their Phantom 4 RTK on display as well. Uh, we'll be able to do some interviews with DJI people, and of course there are so many other companies present during this event, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot more news coming out. Uh, expect more articles and videos from Drone DJ this week. And as always, please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we are also giving a, a unique Breeze uh, 4K drone away this week. Or not this week, but uh, it, I think the, the giveaway ends on November 9th at midnight Eastern time, I believe. So go to Drone DJ if you haven't seen this yet and sign up. Uh, you have to like and follow us, of course, uh, in order to participate. But then who knows, maybe you'll get the uh, unique Breeze drone. Uh, in the future, we'll be doing more of these giveaways. So stay tuned there as well. That's it for today, or for now at least. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.